In this video, I'm going to show you how to use a lazy daisy stitch. Now here on this peacock, the lazy daisy stitch is what's been used on the tail, a lazy daisy stitch combined with a French knot. Or here on this flower, it's been used to create all the petals. Lazy daisy is really a variant of a chain stitch. It's individual chain stitches. So let's begin. First, just cut an arm's length of thread, and then we're going to separate out the strands. And for this one, I'm going to be using three strands of thread. You can use as many strands as you like, but three is a really nice number to work with. So it's fine enough that you can see the shapes, but not so fine that it becomes really delicate and too hard to fill an area. So I've got my needle threaded up here, three strands, and I've tied a knot in the end. And now we're going to start this in the way you would start a chain stitch if you were using the loop method. So I'm firstly just creating a stitch and I'm keeping it loose. You can see that I'm going back nearly into the hole I was before. And then I'm going to bring my needle up at the end of the shape and put in a little securing stitch. So I've created a loop and then I've just secured that in place. And that's how I start creating these petals. So again, I repeat the process, creating a loose loop and then I secure the thread in place. It's that simple. Each one is almost like an individual chain stitch. And whilst I tend to do my chain stitch by the link method, there's another video that shows that, actually this is just like doing a chain stitch via the loop method, which is the way a lot of people learn to do chain stitch. Now, the challenging thing about Lazy Daisy is it can be quite hard to keep all the petals looking quite neat. If you want your stitches to be really consistent, sometimes you'll end up pulling the thread too tense or sometimes not enough. And so there can be an element where you have to fake the shape of the daisy once it's already stitched. And I'm going to show you how to go on and do that once I've got a few of these petals in. So here we go, we have our flower and you can see I'm actually going to add a few additional securing stitches just to pull out the petals to make the shapes I really want to make. So to make them wider and by doing that I can neaten up the overall effect and just make sure that I'm really creating the shape I want to create. Now that only really matters if you're quite pernickety but if you do lots of flowers as there are here, it really doesn't matter as much how neat they are individually. So that's it. It's as simple as that. I hope you enjoy. Show us what you practice using and do take a look at our other how-to videos.